Good morning, friends. So breakfast is often considered the most important meal of the day, right? Because it can set the tone for the whole rest of your day. I want you to think of today's practice as your energetic breakfast, giving you the confidence, the resilience, and the energy you need to be your awesome self today. Before we begin, if you enjoy my classes, then please click the subscribe button. Please also consider becoming a Patreon member. Patreon supports me making these videos and it gets you access to classes and content I only create for my patrons like one hour classes, live streams, book club. It's a really cool community. If you're already a member, truly thank you. And if not, I invite you to check it out. Um, the link is below in the video description. Today is a fun little flow practice. I highly recommend two blocks. Uh, if you don't have them, it's okay, but they will make your practice more fun. <laughs> All right, let's start in a nice, comfortable seat. Relax the shoulders, close your eyes, and take a big breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Relax. Another big breath in through the nose. This time, lift the shoulders to the ears. Open mouth, exhale. Let the shoulders melt. Let's come into a natural breath in and out through your nose. Bring your attention, your awareness to your breath. Softly relax. Feel a sense of ease and calm melting over your scalp, your brow. Relax into your eyes and your cheeks. And soften your tongue, relax your jaw. With each exhale, feel all the muscles of your face, neck, and shoulders relaxing more deeply, melting, stress dissolving into the breath. Let's begin class with some words of affirmation to set the intention for our practice and for our day. I'll say these words out loud and you repeat them silently to yourself. Here we go. Today is a gift and an opportunity. An opportunity to learn and grow. An opportunity to share in loving kindness and compassion. And an opportunity to cultivate a more loving relationship with myself. Let's sit for a few more moments, eyes closed. Welcome these words into your heart. And keeping your eyes closed, hands to the knees, dip your chin to your chest. Roll your right ear to the right shoulder and let that left shoulder fall from the ear. And chin to chest, we'll take it to the other side. Left ear, left shoulder. Again, let that right shoulder fall and breathe into the neck. Just take it back and forth like this a few times, rolling the head, breathing, relaxing, feeling present in your body. Keeping the eyes closed, sit up nice and tall, lift your head. Let's take some shoulder rolls. Lift the shoulders up to the ears and roll them back and around. Inhale as the shoulders lift. Exhale as they fall. We'll take it in the opposite direction now, rolling them up and forward. Nice. And blink the eyes open. All right. Set your blocks off to the side. And let's come into tabletop. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Let's move through a few cat cows here. Wrap the elbows in, heart forward, shoulders back. Exhale, round and flex, push into the earth, draw the navel into the spine, and we'll move like this with the breath. 
We're welcoming more space and mobility into the upper back and some strength and stability into the core, into the hips. One more time. Exhale. Nice. Come to stillness, curl the toes under and lift your hips. Downward dog. Take a few breaths here, pedal the feet, bend one knee, draw the opposite heel down to the mat and just feel this beautiful stretch down the back lines of the legs. You can move the feet and the hands around and dial in a comfortable position, something that feels good in your body. And then come to stillness, take a big breath in, open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Bring your feet together, inhale, take your right foot back and up to the sky, three leg dog, lift it nice and high, keep the hips level as you lift. Exhale, right knee into the chest, squeeze it in, shift the upper body forward and step the right foot through between your hands, low lunge. Keep the deep bend in the front knee, back heel stays lifted as you lift your heart off that front thigh, wing your arms back. Again, keeping the deep bend in the front knee, inhale, take your hands to the sky, crescent lunge. Take a moment, breathe, feel the shoulders relax a little bit. Exhale, slowly twist open to the right, reaching the right hand back. Keep twisting till the chest faces off the long side of the mat. Look down to the front foot, right hand or left hand rather comes inside that front foot and right hand up to the sky revolved lunge. Gaze up to the lifted fingers, open the heart to the sky. Exhale, bring that right hand down. We're back to a low lunge. Lift the heart off the front thigh, wing the arms back once again and keeping the deep bend in the front knee. Inhale, take your hands up to the sky, another crescent lunge. Start to breathe into the warmth that's building in that front thigh. Feel that, breathe. And now bring your hands to your hips, keeping the back heel lifted. Start to straighten that front leg. Now we're kind of on a tight rope here. Engage your core and legs to keep your balance. And with that front leg straight, exhale, start to hinge forward, folding with a long spine into floating splits. Now this is a great place for your blocks. Blocks for your hands here, really good. When you get to about a halfway lift, inhale, lengthen through the spine. And exhale, continue to fold. Try to maintain a long, tall spine. Avoid rounding too much through the upper back. And keep the hips nice and level facing forward here. So draw the tailbone toward that back heel. Breathe into it. As you inhale, halfway lift, blocks off to the side. Bend once again into that front knee. Now we're going to float forward into warrior three, so gently push off from the back foot. Begin to straighten the front leg, bring your palms together at your heart. Lift that left heel and dip the left hip to keep the hips nice and level, chest facing toward the earth, and then lengthen the spine, crown of the head reaching forward. Now, staying balanced on your right foot, slowly rise up into one leg mountain pose. If you need to step down there, totally fine. Right hand to the hip, left hand to the knee. And you can stay here with that left hand on the knee, that's great. Or, peace fingers can bind the big toe and you can extend the left leg long. You can also use a strap here. As you exhale, open the knee or the leg, if it's straight, out to the left and gaze off your right shoulder. If you fall over here, what do you do? You laugh, you play, you're exploring, you're having fun. Inhale, bring that leg back to center. And now everyone extend the left leg, point the toes, hands to the sky, hold the hips nice and level. And as you exhale, curtsy left knee behind the right, wing the arms back. Inhale, stand tall, mountain pose at the top of the mat, palms to get, come together overhead and slice right down through the center, take a bow. Halfway lift, step back, plank pose. Hold plank for just a moment, wrap the elbows in, firm up the belly, and as slow as you can, lower all the way to your belly. Untuck the toes for cobra, hands slide back near the low ribs, press into the heels of the hands, and then inhale, push your heart forward, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, lower. Hips to heels, child's pose. Knees wide, big toe mounds touch. Just take one or two big breaths here. Feel into 
foundation beneath you, earth energy. Come forward, tabletop, curl the toes, lift the hips, downward dog. Feet together, take your left heel up to the sky. Again, nice and high, keeping the hips level. Exhale, knee into chest. Shift forward, step that left foot through between the hands, low lunge. Heart off the front thigh, wing the arms back. And as you inhale, take your hands to the sky. Nice, strong, crescent lunge. Relax your face, relax your shoulders. Exhale, slowly begin to twist open to the left. Reach the left hand back. Keep twisting. <laughs> and then look down to the front foot. Right hand inside the front foot, left hand to the sky. Gaze to the lifted hand. Let the right shoulder fall away from the bottom ear. Left hand comes down. We're back to a low lunge. Once again, lift the heart off the front thigh. Wing the arms back and take your hands back up to the sky. For another crescent, again, feeling a little sensation in that front thigh. Breathe into it, strong. Hands come to the hips, begin to straighten that front leg, keeping the back heel lifted here. Engage the core muscles, thigh muscles to keep everything balanced. And then with a long spine, begin to fold forward. Grab your blocks. At the halfway point, inhale, lengthen a little bit more. And as you exhale, fold. And keep folding until you find that place of balance. Just a little bit of sensation, but a place that feels good in your body. Don't force it. Keep the hips level here once again, facing forward. Inhale, halfway lift, bend into that front knee. And now we float into warrior three. Little push off the back foot. Straighten the front leg, palms come together at the heart. And again, level everything out here. So the right heel lifts, right hip dips, and the hips and chest are level. Long spine, breathe. Stay balanced on that left foot as we rise up into one leg mountain pose. <laughs> left hand to the hip, right hand to the knee. Stand tall, again, you can stay here with the right hand on the knee or bind that big toe and extend the leg long. Find your balance here, and then slowly open the knee or the leg out to the right. And then take your gaze off the left shoulder. Keep breathing, keep smiling, <laughs> keep having fun here. Inhale, bring that leg back to center. Again, everyone extend the right leg, point the toes, hands to the sky and curtsy, right knee behind the left. Wing the arms back. As we inhale, we stand tall at the top of the mat, reach into the sky, palms meet and slice down through the center of the body. Full halfway lift, step back plank pose. Let's hold plank for a moment here. Wrap the elbows in, firm up the belly. And we're gonna come down to forearm plank and give our core some love here. So, come down to the forearms and the elbows. Spread the fingers wide. And imagine your body the shape of a plank. What does a plank look like? It's long and flat, right? So the crown of the head, forward heels back, lengthening, stretching out the spine. And then push into the mat with the elbows and forearms. And suck up the low belly toward the spine. Firm the thighs, firm the butt. Push into the elbows and breathe for three, two, one. Exhale, lower the hips and thighs and let's open the upper back in sphinx pose. Untuck the toes, elbows under the shoulders, push into the elbows and then energetically draw those elbows back towards you as you push the heart forward and draw the shoulders back. Close your eyes here, just breathe into the space it's being created in the upper back. And this gentle little compression in the low back is really helpful as well because we're compressing the discs at the back of the vertebrae, moving the disc material back into the center. Why is that good? Because it undoes all of the hunching over, the folding over that we do and the sitting that we do all day. Exhale, slowly lower, reach your hands forward, 
Wiggle the fingers and toes, great big breath. Exhale, just let your whole body collapse into a melty little puddle here. <laughs> Breathe, relax. And sink your hips back to your heels, child's pose. Again, take a moment and feel the breath in your body, feel the earth beneath your fingers and toes. Strong and alive, energized. Sit back to your heels and sweep your legs around in front. Let's take a big wide leg seat. Go ahead and grab your block or blocks. Place them in between the legs. We'll use them as a support for your forehead. Root the sit bones, knees and toes pointing up to the sky as we inhale, reach up. Big breath and exhale. Fold forward, try to keep the spine nice and long as you fold. When the hands come down, inhale, lift through the heart and the crown of the head. Exhale, fold, and again, imagine this fold happening from the hips. The spine is nice and long here. It's the hips that are the hinge point. Take your time coming down, and when you find a place that you can feel easy and restful. Maybe rest your head on the block and just stay there for a few breaths and relax. Feel any tension, any worry, stress, leaving the body, dissolving into the breath, melting into the earth. Inhale, slowly rise, place the block off to the side. Let's come to your back. We'll end with a little happy baby. Take the feet up in the air. Grab the outside edges of the feet. And just rock a little bit side to side here. You can let those feet open as wide as they want to. Exhale, let the low back and shoulders draw down toward the mat. May your day be filled with peace and lots of smiles, <laughs> lots of joys, big and small, and a feeling of strength and courage to be yourself. Exhale, release the feet and melt into Shavasana. Bring some wiggles to your fingers and your toes, your wrists and your ankles. Inhale, reach your hands overhead and stretch. From fingertips to toes, feel breath, energy and oxygen moving through every cell in your body. Wiggle your fingers and toes. 
Exhale, knees into the chest, roll to your right side. And push yourself up to a seat at the top of your mat. Bring your palms together at your heart and close your eyes. Let's raise our thumb knuckles to the point between our brow and we bow to one another in light and love. Namaste. I hope you have the best day today. I hope this practice gives you the confidence and clarity and energy to go out there and be awesome today.